Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a True RMS digital multimeter. It's the ANENGQ1. There's the brand right there. 9999 counts. There's the unit itself. Comes with a very nice zippered holder and a temperature probe. Very nice with a flexible yellow cable some input leads some basic general ones with points on there instruction manual and an additional set of very flexible leads that have these uh, screws on them so that you can put various probes you can put the, these probes on there along with the connectors to the ports and you can put these clips on these also along with connections to the ports I've never seen a multimeter that has this additional feature right here with all these different options for connecting, including additional ground ground loops, large loops like that, that you can put on there. So if you're testing something, you want to get a good solid ground, they've included that on there, which is really nice. Another thing that's unique about this, we're going to go over all the features, and I'm going to um, demonstrate everything on here, is that... Um, I'm going to go to features. The temperature pro is really wide. It goes from minus 20 degrees centigrade to 1,000 degrees centigrade or minus 4 Fahrenheit to, to 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is, that is like industrial strength, allowing you to do a lot of experimentation with temperature variance. Um, as I mentioned, as a storage bags, English manual, it comes with a one-year warranty from the manufacturer and it measures true RMS which we're going to test has auto and manual ranges on here and has an analog bar display on the bottom and probably the neatest feature of this which was which I was really impressed with it has a black EBTN enhanced black display I've never seen that before every multimeter I've owned in the last 50 years it's hard to see the display and when you see this display, you're going to be really impressed. So we're going to turn this on. We're going to go over all the features of this. We're going to do a close-up of this and show some of the features and the display. So first thing I'm going to show is how to change the batteries. This uses two AA batteries. And the back has this nice little stand right here, which allows you to keep this thing nice and steady while you're making your measurements. But it's real simple on the back right here and you undo that and then lift this up and the whole cover will come off to make it easier you notice that lifts off just like that then you have your batteries in there just make sure you put the positive and the positive and negative on the negative and i like to do a little spinning like that to clean all the contacts and then this goes right back in place it slides under just like that and then this drops down and you tighten the screw back up clockwise and you're all set and then you got your stand back and the battery is in there now as I mentioned about this display you can see right here it's very easy to read I've never seen it before it's got a total black background on there so let, let's do the first thing we're gonna put the temperature probe that it comes with on here and uh, see how this works so it has a nice yellow cable that you could expand and open up now looking at this product I can see that it's got the common right here and then if you look it says centigrade or Fahrenheit and it tells you to plug that in right there Now let's take a look at how do we get temperature. I see that on these buttons right here, there is a bottom button for centigrade or Fahrenheit. And you cycle through that and it shows 17 degrees centigrade. And on the top, it has the Fahrenheit, which is nice. So it gives you both those temperatures. If you hit it again, now it's cycling through the different settings. That's RMS, and then again it goes centigrade and Fahrenheit right there. So that's telling me that 63 degrees Fahrenheit in the room or 17 centigrade. So if I put my hand on there and warm that thing up, you can see that it is increasing at the rate you'd expect. 
Now it's 77, 79, there you go. Very nice. And this is very flexible. You can move this around quite easily to make your temper measurements. And you could use a nice stand on here also by using that. So I like that feature. Now let's let's put the uh, probes that it came with. Let's put the probes on here. They got these little covers on here. Remove the covers. And we're going to put the black there and the common and the red there on the plus. And we're going to go through and we're going to uh, test the features of this. So let's uh, first test out um, the resistance, the ohms. You can see it cycles through. The one sitting right there, you see the little diode and you see the little audio indicator right there. That's if you want to check continuity. And it gives you the resistance on the auto setting. And also it allows you to get a nice beep. Then when you hit it again, it goes into the auto and that's nanofarad. So that's giving you a capacitor reading. Hit it again and it's going to be resistance. Now we're going to go get a resistor and we're going to test that. Now to make things simpler, I put these other probes on here by using those included inserts so that I have a nice longer cable and some test lead clips on here. So I got this going to a box that has different resistances. And when I set it to 15K, you can see that it's measuring 15K. Then I dropped to 10K, 4.67K, 4.7K. So if I go to the low end right here, there's 470 ohms. So this is working perfectly. If I go to the high range, show 665K, which is what this is. So the resistance is very accurate and works really fast and again the display is really clear. So if you want to measure DC, I have a power supply right here. You can see it's 24.1 and I have the, the Q1 hooked up to it with the power leads and you can see it's 24.11 so it matches really nice. Now you have a range button right here so you could hit that and you can see it go to manual if you want to have an not auto range. And then if you want to uh, go back to the original, just hold this down, it goes back to auto. And I also want to point out that on the bottom, you got the little bar graph display right there, which shows you the 24.11 volts. So you have another method to look at the voltage. So here I have the Q1 in the AC mode, auto, and I have a signal generator in the back. And you can see I've got a frequency counter and it's showing 4171 hertz. And I have an oscilloscope to the left right here showing me the peak to peak voltage. And the meter right here is showing me that it is 1 volt RMS and 4.17 kilohertz. And if you toggle between the hertz button right here, Okay, it'll switch and it'll show you the frequency right there. And the top right there is the percentage of the duty cycle, 53%. That's the on to off time. So it's very handy to be able to see frequency and duty cycle. Uh, now another nice feature is you could turn the unit on. And there is a button right here called NCV. You hit that twice and it goes into a detection mode for AC. So we go near that AC line and it reacts. Letting me know that there is AC present so you don't have to have any leads to test that. Very nice. So what's my overall impression about the ANENG Q1, the True RMS Digital Multimeter? Well, as I demonstrated, I showed the functionality of this unit. I showed the beautiful display on there, which is just so nice. You can clearly see it. The camera picks it up beautifully. I really like this product. This is one of the nicest multimeters that I think I own right now. So I'm going to give this a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this video, please hit the like button also. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.